when you look for yourself online, what do you look like? How are you going to get found by people who are searching for your services? That's right. And what if you don't like what you find when you search for yourself? What do you do? Hi, I'm Charlie Seymour, Jr. And I'm Dr. Mark Koss. And thanks for coming to this question and answer video. But make sure you stay tuned to the end because we have a very special offer for you that you want to check out. We certainly do. So go ahead and watch. We'll see you in the end. Do any information products show up? First of all, let's define information products. Right. I mean, if for an information product to show up, you have to have one. And that's really one of the, you know, this person asking this question knows us pretty well that we yes. advocate. Uh, anyone who has a high level of expertise should at least be considering the notion of an information product. So what's an information product? Well, the most common example would certainly be a book. I mean, a book is information that you take from your expertise and you're packaging it into a physical product. Right. Now, they can also be virtual products. It can be a video series on how, YouTube. How about a video like this? This how is an information? A question and answer video like this, absolutely. I mean, so anything that you can take from your knowledge base and your experience base and capture it. And that's the beautiful thing about the internet, of course, is that we have this system to deliver it now and, yeah. and show it to people. Right. So audio, video, print are your primary media to capture things in, but those can all take any kind of service and convert it into a product. The number one thing that people search for on YouTube is how to fill in the blank. Right. Well, odds are there's something about your business that fits in at the end of how to. I don't know whichever business it is, if you're a landscaper, if you're a doctor, if you're an attorney, if you're a psychologist, how do I whatever. That's an information product. And we talk about getting off the time trap plateau. That is a term. Time trap is one word. Go ahead and search that online. Believe me, you will find us. Time trap, one word. Um, in our book, where we talk about getting away from selling one hour of your time for a one hourly fee. Right. And we often talk about the rock star who goes into the recording studio, records something one time, and it continues to sell over and over and over again. An information product does that. Exactly. Takes you off from trading one hour of time for one hourly fee. Believe me, that rock star doesn't come to my home to sing every time I turn um, you know, my iPod on, right? right? Or go to iTunes. Yeah. So it's the same thing there. And if you've got information products, we want to make sure that they rank highly for you. If you don't have them, we certainly encourage you to do that. You want to look at that in your assessment and in your monthly monitoring to see how many of your information products are making it up to the top. Wow, you were pretty good in that, Dr. Mark. You weren't too shabby yourself. Well, thanks very much. And that was one of 25 questions and answers that we have for you. That's right. We spent a whole lot of time. We really want you to get found online. So we went through 25 of these. This was just a sample. And we want to give it all to you. Well, where can they come and get all that information? Well, getfound101.com is the place to go. Sounds like a smart idea. So join us over there, getfound101.com, and get all 25 of these, getfound101.com. Thank <laughs> you.